Hey, hey, Spring Love Bay, Simply Tarot. Okay, this is going to be for the sign of Taurus. This is a little bit different. Normally I do, you know, special messages and, um, yeah. This is a little bit different. And we are using this beautiful little thing here for our romance angel cards. It says, our love will last forever. So, first off, I'm going to be pulling some of these cards. Starting with Romance Angels. Then we're going to do you. The person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or going to be dealing with, whichever that may be. And then the outcome. Now, say this doesn't feel like you, and this does. But I keep saying this is you. You have to go where you feel like is you. So if you don't feel like this is you and you feel like this is, then that's where you're at. Um, yeah. Only take away what resonates, leave the rest behind. If you have tar Taurus in your birth chart, this could be a reading for you. Okay, we start with the Romance Angels. Okay, for Taurus. For Taurus, please. For Taurus. For Taurus. Okay. Woo, Taurus. You're dealing with a... You are dealing with a soulmate. <laughs> That's basically what this is. Okay, and they just flipped this out. This is was on the top, but it came out. So this is someone... Um, oh my God, look. This is flipping something unreal here. Okay. This is basically a reading within itself. I haven't had this happen. This is a soulmate connection. You're dealing with a soulmate. This is past life. You you have known each other before. Past life relationship. So this is very strong. This is um, someone that you have this very passionate and intense connection with. You know, this card is the passion card. It's, it's saying, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay. Not sure if we're going to get all these to stand up on this because we got a lot more cards here. No, we're not. You know, this is basically it right here. Someone's dealing with a soulmate. They're dealing with a soulmate connection. This is very strong. This is passionate. This is, um, or it's going to be. But this is divine timing. So you may have already been dealing with this person. You may be dealing with them now. Or you're going to deal with them. The thing is, is divine timing is at work in your love life. So, you know, it's not your timing. It's worth waiting for. Whoever or whatever this is with this person, it's worth waiting for. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations. Maybe this person's really different from what you're used to. Maybe that's confused you. Maybe that's made you really um, second guess this. Well, how? How can? How? Because they're they're nothing like I'm used to. They're they're totally different. Calling in that soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, somebody's been calling in a soulmate, and they're coming in. Or they have came in. Or they're in someone's life somehow. But there's, there is a sense of not togetherness with this divine timing card. There's a sense of not togetherness. Something, this is not together. Not together. Divine timing card. Worth waiting for. Divine timing card. Can I have something? May I have something, please? Queen of Cups. Somebody holding that cup up for someone. They've poured the cup out to the past. They're holding that cup up or they're pouring the cup out to the past. Okay. They're holding their cup open for someone. Someone's holding that cup open for someone. Someone's. This is strong. Very. May we have another? 
Okay, we have another. This is full of passion. A lot of passion here. Maybe we have the other card. I know there's another. Where's it at? Okay, if you haven't met this person, oh my goodness, the connection is going to be unreal. And it's going to be, it's going to have you at the point where you're kind of like, can this be real? Because you're so different. You see, we have the Eight of Cups. Um, you know, this is about, okay, if you look, they're not going anywhere. It's like waiting on that one. Waiting on that one. Then on the bottom, I'm drawn to this card, the Queen of Swords. Um, whomever this person is right here, they've been hurt a lot. And you see how she's grasping that sword, but yet she's taking the hand. So this person's been hurt a lot. But it's like someone is someone is going towards them. I said, I don't know. You're going to have to put yourself where you belong in this because I'm not getting it. But that is your reading. That's it. And it's awesome how they use the Romance Angel cards to put this out here. I mean, that's kind of unreal. And I hear, I hear a phone. It must be my phone downstairs ringing profusely. So that must, that must be some sort of sign here. But this is really um, very strong. A very strong reading. So if it isn't for you, leave it. But, you know, this could be future. This could be someone you've already dealt with or are going to be dealing with. Or you're dealing with them now. But divine timing's here. That's not our timing. That's, you know, that's the universe's timing. So... Yeah. Till next time. Bye.